shops, 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 shops. <laughs> yeah. Shipyard. <laughs> uh, Welcome back. Hello. So today our plan is, let's see, we've got we've got a uh, box of sunlight for the Fathom King. We're going to give it to him. Hopefully he likes it this time. <laughs> I, I do not want to get Sun's Curse. Yes. I don't even know what that's that, about. We've had a really bad track record of getting gifts for this guy. What do you get the guy who has everything? Yeah. <laughs> And then we're going to go to Adam's Way and finally get rid of the snuffer. That snuffer can go straight to Adam's Way. Uh, you know, I haven't bought, I haven't minded having it on board. It's quiet. It doesn't take up a cargo space. Yes. Then we're going to the Utter's Room to pick up some Blemigans. Um, and we need... Don't we need Prisoner's Honey for that? Yes. Yes, we do. So I think we should pick up a couple. Oh, and the reason why we want Blemigans is there for our uh, lady who's, who's burning from the inside. No, because she... Oh, do we? Yeah, we got a long time ago. We got this. Oh, I didn't even realize yeah. that. And we gave away our, we gave away our well, our strange catches, strange catches, and ah. Uh, All right, so gotta get Blem again for her. Yeah. Uh, do we need Blem again for anything else? You can turn them in in a lot of weird places. Is there anything? I don't even know if there's something else that might need them though. Uh, there. So. When you, there's different islands that have a little Blemigan things like drop off Blemigans and some of them it seems like a good idea to drop off and some of them it seems like a bad idea huh like like some of the places like, all these people are jerks let's see how they like some Blemigans yeah now, that being said I don't even know what a Blemigan is except for I think it's a mushroom yeah it's probably some sign, some sort of horrible sp- it's like spore a, filled mushroom it's probably like a tribble yeah the grubble with gribbles hmm okay so yeah we're gonna need some honey for that well, strange catches aren't hard to get. Muter salts aren't hard to get, and the solace fruit was it, next time we're in Mangrove College. We found the Mangrove College, right? I don't know exactly where Mangrove College is. I swear we it, is it this one in the Melting Isles? Maybe. Yeah, there it is. Okay. We haven't done a lot of exploring there, but maybe that'll be something we like stop by Port Cecil and Mangrove College. Yeah, maybe. Because we do need to also stop in Port Cecil for some Cintillac and for our Admiralty Commission. Yes. So that sounds pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's go that way. Let's see. Oop. Okay. And do we... Oh, do we have enough supplies and stuff? Did I actually buy the thing I just said I was going to buy? No, we did not buy prisoners, honey. Full reverse, crew. Come on! I keep doing this. It's, it's all this awkward, like, uh, like our, our loved ones and wives are on the dock <laughs> waving us <laughs> off. And full He's reverse. Back, back <laughs> yeah. Mm. Well... Uh, we forgot to buy the thing. We some Jeff still has to go to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, I told him to go before he left. Yeah. Uh, all right, prisoners honey one, and I guess I'll get some more fuel. While I'm at it. Yeah. I'll just top off. We're gonna be driving around for a little while. Yeah. And some supplies. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Bam. Let's do this. That, that uh, Leroy. Oop. <laughs> <laughs> Leroy. Whoa. Whoa. Well, all right. So forward we go. Um, does the genial magician really need to be our engineer? Well, we can't. We don't want to change him now. Uh, no, we can swap him out. I don't know why we changed. Oh, yeah, we changed him because we were doing a challenge or something. Yeah, we needed more mirrors, I think. Next time we pull in, I'll switch back to whoever we had before. Yeah, I think we want the efficiency guy. Yes, yes, we do. We want fuel efficiency. Unless. Do we want since we're heavier? Unless we want Maybe's daughter or something like that. I don't know what Maybe's. She is. gives us uh, engine power. Okay. Unless we want a little more engine power. No, I'll take the efficiency. We're moving along at a pretty good clip, and I, I'm, we're running out of fuel as it is. Crab. Hi. Dun, How you doing? Da 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 da. It did not stand a chance. All right. Do you want to get some knowledge? Uh, it's like one, right? Yeah. Maybe I'll eat it. Uh, yeah, we got a little more hunger than I'm pretty hungry. usual. Man, pretty I'm, mangry. I do love me crab. Yes, you do. <laughs> it's, it seems like every time we go anywhere, you're getting some, uh, either something with crab or something with uh, scallops. If it's if it's fresh, if it's fresh crab, it's wonderful. Not, it doesn't get fresher than this. No, <laughs> I just yeah. I just uh, not rocketed. We should save that because we're gonna need that to get into the Fathom King's. Oh home. yeah, that's right. He does require. But us. we can still chat to the fishermen and get ourselves a port report. Okay, continue. Yeah, it doesn't get fresher than this. I just cannoned it myself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's got... And, depending on what kind of can it is, it's still warm from the shelling. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, was this uh, was this like a, an incendiary cannon? Mmm. Mmm. Tastes like Composition B. Mmm. Yeah. Mm. 
It's a little um, uh, what is that stuff? Wow, yellow phosphorus. Oh yeah, yeah, mm, mm, yeah, mm. red phosphorus. Mm, 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 yellow phosphorus. Mm. Oh yeah, the yellow phosphorus uh, is white phosphorus, but with gasoline for some reason. <laughs> because, because <laughs> why not? It. Who yeah. cares? Who knows? Uh. Not, it's not a popular mix. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, especially at the club. <laughs> I, <laughs> Yo, this is my jam. Wait, what are you trying to do? <laughs> I don't know. Someone it, it sounded like you were doing uh, Girl from Ipanema and then swapped over to Sandstorm. Uh, yeah, that's kind of what I did. All right, but uh, do, who do we want to talk to? Huh? Uh, is we, this going to use our something awaits you? I don't know. Let me little check. Ask the Smith about life on the island. Oh. A disinclination to talk. Yeah, it, it did use our... Uh, oh, well. Or did it? It? well I, we should get another one. Yeah, we'll see. He tells you that folk here keep to themselves. He says he doesn't go up to the building with a steeple, and its acolytes ever, hardly ever come down here. It sounds like a solitary sort of life. He claims he prefers it that way. When he turns back to his work, you see the chain of heart metal links he wears around his neck, and the closed locket that hangs from it. Huh. Okay. Yeah, in our journal, there's a uh, there's a little thing for like the smith and the acolyte and somebody else. So we could we could raise our uh, rep with them, I guess. I'm more interested in the acolyte than the smith. Uh, yeah, mostly, maybe he could form us a weapon or something. Yeah, no, I mean, but oh. here's my thing about the whole weapon thing. We're dripping with officers who are giving us weapons and can and engines and shit if we want them. Like I, I'm wondering what the acolyte has to give. Like I, I right now I kind of want to upgrade our skills more than our stuff. It's true. Maybe she'll give us some hearts or yeah, hearts or maybe some sort of like auxiliary or uh, captain's chamber. You know, something to make it so we're just more like better lamp for our ship. Yeah, I could use a nice lamp. We're still using the the cheapest thing you can get, which is a, a, a hundred echo for a uh, just a little pocket uh, telescope. Yeah, I almost said periscope. <laughs> I, uh, that sounds dirty. A pocket po periscope? Po pocket telescope? Yeah. Not so bad. Pocket periscope? I <laughs> don't want to look into that. Yeah, it, don't bother the captain. He's uh, he's utilizing his pocket periscope. Uh, he's polishing. Why, how do polishing you know? His periscope? Yeah. Oh, he he's polishing his lens. Let's see. That'll use our yeah definitely. something. Pilot port report. This yeah. is what I wanted. All right, let's get out of here. Cheese it. We are getting pretty high in terror, so I don't want to stay out for too long. I I don't want to stay out till the street lamps come on. <laughs> Listen, we're in a good neighborhood. Yeah, we don't have to lock our doors here. No. What do we got here. The Nerid. That sounds familiar. Yeah. I like. I like that those ships go unharassed on the seas. Yeah. Didn't we see? Didn't we see one, like, uh, driving next to a crab or something? Yeah, like... And we fought the crab. Yeah, we killed the crab. It sounds like a dream thing. I had. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and you were there, and you were a pirate captain. And you were there, but you... Oh, and, some, and, and people were watching us do this, but I couldn't see them. <laughs> and even you, Toto, you were there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's no. silly. Yeah, this this whole thing is very dreamlike. If you try to describe it to somebody, it's the the sunless sea borders on the level of like mystical that I almost dislike. Uh, it's just mystical enough for me. Yeah, yeah. Like if it went a little further, I probably would not like it. Present the Fathom King with a box of sunlight. It's what he asked for. Yeah. With utmost care, the Fathom King's Chamberlain pulls on a pair of squid leather gloves and takes the box from you. He does not approach the Fathom King. He takes it directly to a slit at the side of the room. Satisfactory, the Fathom King says swiftly. As to your payment, there are optical techniques lost to the upper sea, but now you will learn them. One mirrors. That seems low. Yeah, I know. That's a dumb payment. And a secret. That's a less dumb payment. <laughs> yeah. Well, now overall, we are trying to pay for our father's bones thing. You know. Uh, is there anything else here? We still have our something oh. awaits you, right? We can ask a boon. We can listen to an emissary. I hey, I want free stuff. Let's see what the king will give us. Ah, the rosy flesh one. So five supplies uh, and a little terror. Yeah. Well, what's a little bit of terror between friends? I'm I'm constantly spreading terror around the house. <laughs> 
<laughs> rubbing my tear on things. Yeah, I was gonna say, you know, well, if I eat, uh, if I eat the wrong types of food, <laughs> yeah. I'll spread a little terror. Gluten based. Yeah, it is. It is noxious terror. Yeah, like if I'm, you, if I'm you... so glad we figured out what was wrong with me because for a while there, I wasn't fit for human company. Yeah, yeah. It it was never so like I I'm glad that I'm more glad for you because I know how bad it made you feel. Yeah. But being that I have a terrible sense of smell, never really bothered me that much. Well, also I I tended to work outside, so it wasn't a big deal. <laughs> yeah, if I was a little gassy. But the fact that like so many little problems. Like your joints, oh yeah, and your demeanor, just whoop! I'm all better. You know, all for the cost of never eating bread again. <laughs> yeah, or, or macaroni's or, or anything bread based. Or delicious it's beers. A small price to pay. Yeah, no, I think I could. It, I would feel worse. I forgot to change out this guy. <laughs> oh, oh well. I would feel worse if it was a uh, if it was if it was lactose. Like I don't know what I would do if I couldn't eat cheese. Hmm. Well, cheese, milk products. I like cheese, but I don't think I'd miss it. Oh, che- cheese oh, it, and meat are like my favorite two things. For me, it's uh, meat and fruit. I despise fruit. I like fruit a lot. I like. It's a very tropical diet, meat and fruit. I like vegetables a lot. Except for? A zucchini. Zucchini, that's right. Zucchini and squashes. I don't like I, I don't like any kind of <laughs> sweet potato. No, it's too sweet. Give me what is it? Is it alkalis that are not sweet? I can't remember. Hey, want to hear about the uh, fall in London? It's a new day. Okay, so we've come. We came here before, and we spent time at the uh, Animations Hospital. Well, I let's oh, deliver our stuff. Yeah, the, the bunker. I, I I'd already forgotten why we came here. You have contained the creature in a barrel. You order it rolled to the broker's door. <laughs> that, just the idea of rolling this thing and it's like, wah, 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 or whatever <laughs> yeah. noises. Yeah. yeah, what was in the barrel before? Was it like full of pickled onions or something? Yeah, well, we just put it in with the pickled lemons. Oh, yeah, like, like we, we roll it up and then I take one and take a bite out of it. <laughs> yeah. A job well done. Excellent. Roll it on in, my friend. I owe you another lunch, I think. But first, your payment. He hands you a large cream envelope. Inside is a chart. It's fold stiff with Z salt. The corner is stamped with the seal of the Empress herself. It is labeled The First Voyage of the Galatea, 1867, and shows a tenuous, roving course across the entrancy. As you leave, the avuncular broker is keen to keep in touch. Perhaps I will have another commission for you, after a conversation with our mutual friend. He pats the top of the barrel. The thing inside kicks. <laughs> All right, so we got a revelatory chart. Oh ho, the dark spectacle of the Admiral will want to see this. Oh ho. <laughs> oh ho. What ho. <laughs> uh, That's another, another uh, extraordinary implication. Hmm, yeah, new total too. I wonder if I'm, we can combine these. Yeah, I was going to say, I wonder if oh, we can make Also, it. I'd like to point out that the Galatea, I'm pretty sure that's a reference to Rossum's Automatic Robots, okay. uh, which is a very early uh, uh, black and white film about uh, artificial intelligence. Huh. And a lot of people reference that whenever, whenever the questions of artificial intelligence come up. All right, so we still have got most of a day. Okay, so... Oh, he's oh, got a second commission oh, for us. Oh, shit. Yeah, you're right. A second commission. His shoot. invitation is urgent. A complication. This time, he meets you in a private room. A lady in a neat button suit sits beside him, flicking through an English phrase book. She seems quietly pleased. Sit, sit. The broker urges. His avuncularity is diminished. The snuffer you caught was extremely surprised by its interrogation. It was under the impression that it was working for us. One of our London diplomats has decided that the expedience of using snuffers outweighs the prohibition on associating with them. He is incorrect. He introduces his associate, a hands-on diplomat. I'd like you to see her safely to the Presbyterian Embassy in London. She will explain her colleague's error to him and replace him in his position. Thereupon, she will pay you. The payment is generous. It covers your discretion as well as your service. Fun. No, yeah, no. so gonna, gonna move a diplomat somewhere. Okay, I would like to try to catch a nut. All right. Even though one of our commenters did say that the, the nut wouldn't uh, count for the, uh, the, the Fathom King, I still want one. Uh, yeah, you never know. Fruitless. The branch is too far. The nut too small. This happened to us last time. Ah. 
So, but we did gain a lamentable relic, which I'm. We need some of those. Yeah, I'm keen to collect. Um, we should totally go to the hospital again. Yeah, that was really profitable last time. Because I think that's where we're gonna get the cure stuff for our lady. Yeah, we have been paying more attention to her. Ah. The brisk campaigner. No cure exists, but the monks claim they can delay its worst symptoms. An unlikely collection of treatments. We can spare a little if your need is great. A gelid paste, a trio of astringent filters to be taken in an exact order and dosage. An epigram to recite as the treatment are administered. Will this bunkum really work? Hmm. I don't know. I wonder if that'll open up more story options for her. Maybe, but that was our day. Oh, wow. That's really... It was short, the whole day. <laughs> well, it's, it, it's winter down there, so the oh, days are short. Days are shorter. Okay, so next, we got the Utter Shroom. Yeah, to the Utter Shroom. Going to pick up some Lemmigans. I still haven't switched out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at least we're doing okay on fuel, I guess. We could be doing more okay with 5% fuel efficiency. Oh, we could have bought some at the shop down there. Fuel? Yeah. They were not, They don't have bad prices on fuel. Yeah, you're right. It's like 12 or something. Want to turn around? Yeah, we can. Whee! If I... I would like to feel better about fuel, and yeah, I don't. I, and I'm not. I, I'm not the kind of guy who gets worried about fuel like you do. But when the fuel outweighs the supplies, then I don't feel so good. Yeah, we got we got plenty to eat, <laughs> but my ship is hungry. <laughs> yeah, I'm numb, numb. I'm a ship. Yeah, it's one of those weird things. But I, I feel like my car drives better on a full gas tank. I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's silly. I know, but it's. Absolutely true. Oh, hey, look at this. Oh, sh- yeah, sell that thing. Man, I'm glad we came back. 1200 Sell. Yes, please. Okay, so now we got some money. Do you just want to buy all of the fuel? Yes. Uh, also, do we need... No, we don't need coffee beans for anything, do we? No. Uh, let's check. Let's see. Speak to... Mm. No. But we could ask her about the, uh, oh, the ambush that yeah. happened last time. Yeah. Okay. I uh, owe you an explanation, don't I? What I'm about to tell you is... A deep secret, a college secret, but people have died. I owe you an explanation. Hmm. None shall live a thousand years. In the Presbyteriat in the south, we're close to the mountain and far from the sun, so we could live forever, if that were permitted. It isn't. The law is none shall live a thousand years. My father made it to a thousand and eleven. She grins with shame-faced pride. Good for him. Bad for his children. The law for me is, thou shalt not live a hundred years. I'm out of time. That's why I left the Navy. The college will get me. They always do in the end. And I can't keep letting other people die for me. She stands to go. Will you help me find a way to die well? In battle would do, or a duel. I don't want to be, oh, you know, just shot by a pirate, eaten by a shark. I want people to talk after I'm gone. She offers you her hand. I'm sorry. We've got a secret. And the adventuress has asked us to help her die properly. Uh, so, like, like, do we have to recycle her? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. We could also demand that she leave the ship. No, no, but, no, no. And you know, I'm assuming at this point we could give her to like the, give her to the pirate king, but that doesn't seem proper. Oh, the Fathom King? No, the, the oh, may, oh, actually, that's a not a bad idea because doesn't he want two people? There's someone. Uh, he wants someone who's done with life. I think. Yeah. Fuel efficiency. That's what I was looking for. Uh, so uh, he wants. He, well, he wants a willing guest, and then he there was another person though. Yeah, I don't, uh... Maybe he... Maybe that's what she's for now. I doubt it, but we can check. May, well, maybe he's gonna, like, turn her into a sweet lamp. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, a work of art. The kind of thing that would end up in the underseason Smithsonian. No, I think that we may have to fire her at a monster. <laughs> no, I don't want that. <laughs> that's such a waste. I want her... Maybe... Oh, maybe... Maybe... Hmm. Hmm. Maybe she's going to go destroy the Dawn Machine. She'll fly She'll fly a bomb into it like the uh, like Independence Day. Yeah, I, I, the image that popped into my mind as soon as you said that was Independence Day. Yeah, in the words of my generation, up yours. Also, I've read that. I read the book, that Independence Day. The uh, the, the novelization? Yeah, well, no. It, the 
it was the book that the movie was made from. There was a book. Yeah, and it's. Does it explain more about how the yeah. aliens are, are Mac compatible? No, <laughs> no, not really. Like it doesn't really go. The movie is pretty much shot for shot the book. The book is not a big book, <laughs> but <laughs> it's fifteen pages. Yeah, it was a comic book. All right, trade honey. Honey, a Schumer explains. Everyone wants honey. Life on the Utter Shroom is unvarying and occasionally deadly poisonous. The Shroomers are desperate for the diversion that a prisoner's honey can bring, but vague about what they can pay in return. Supplies, though, at least. So the Blemigans. I've been resisting getting Blemigans for a long, long time, but I need them for to, to save our brisk campaigner. Yeah, I'm all for it. Blemigans! The Shroomers pile up slabs of sweet mauve shroom flesh. It's nourishing, though it does taste rather like a muddy horse. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good taste. <laughs> they also generously throw in a blemigan, a whistling, eyeless, mobile fungus thing. Problems? Throw it in the sea. No room? Throw it in the sea. She shrugs. Probably a swim. If not, plenty of room in sea. So we got one supply and a docile blemigan. It has claws. It has a fierce double beak. But just now it seems disinclined to use them. Well, so, that's, uh... so it's like a fungus plus a... Uh, oh, what am I thinking of? The like a uh, octopi? Yeah. Every time I look at the picture, I keep thinking there's some kind of jellyfish. But yeah, it, it's got a. It's beak. got a beak. I don't trust this thing. No, no, no. I fired at a can. Fire it from our cannon. That were. That's what. That's what the uh, engineer or the the gunnery officer's can is going to fire blemigans. Hmm. Yeah, what are they for? I mean, besides... Can we assign it as our mascot? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, let's give that a check. Officers, no Blemigan. Ah! <laughs> oh, we got four of them. What? Can, or uh, right-click on it. I hope that they are not multiplying. Ooh. Cannot be sold. All right, let's keep an eye on those things. Um, I, don't want a, I don't want a triple situation here. Also, you should see if we can combine those intelligences or whatever. Do we have a couple of them? Yeah, we have two. Uh, the, vi the vital intelligence, I think it's up next to the Z story. Extraordinary implication. No. 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 All right, Can't well. Can't find any of this stuff. That, that's what I was wondering, the extraordinary implications. Okay. Because we got two... Oh, we should have seen if we could got get some more uh, pearls from the Fathom King. Does he sell it? I think he does. I don't know what we have to trade them for. I don't remember seeing any options. Of course, I didn't look for a shop or anything. I don't remember if it's a shop or what. Oh, shark. Or maybe... Oh, I think the I think the option is to trade drownies. Like, save a drownie for drowning pearls. Hmm, I don't remember. Oh, oh it's submerged. I was like, ah, oh, my guns. It... <laughs> What are you doing, Shark? Well, I don't know why it does it. All it does is waste time and hasten its demise because I gain more distance on it. Well, oh, goodbye, Shark. The <laughs> shipman my other one just fires into the ocean. <laughs> Bloop. Well, the captain orders to fire. He didn't say it was. Yeah. <laughs> Take that, sea. <laughs> Another shark. Very bad water. Okay, so... Do we want to try using one of these guys' meats? No, I want to see... We've not succeeded in this challenge yet. Okay. I right. really want to see what's going on with these sharks. A painful mystery. You learn little. Yeah, we failed again. Well, we still gained a lot of stuff, but... When this happened to us the first time, I thought this was a succeed. But... So I wonder what we get for a, succe a success. I'm hoping that we find out something more about a place. Some more know? lore? Yeah. Or, like, it it gives us a reason to go somewhere. Like, maybe the, like, the Abbey or something like that. Like, one of those places that doesn't give us anything already. Oh, like it unlocks more... Yeah. Well, maybe... I wonder if these guys... No, I don't know. It's... It's so weird. Oh, again, I'm firing into the ocean. <laughs> Take that. What's so weird? Uh, it's so weird that they are bound with those big brass things, and we haven't s seen a lot of... Like, I couldn't even guess where this comes from. No, I know. Oh, we got it. Oh. I think. Yes, we've succeeded the page challenge. Uh, no, we've, we've beat one of these before. We got a hunting trophy. If we don't beat it, we don't get a hunting trophy. No, we got one last time. Did we? Yeah. Well, this was a success. The last one was a failure. What was the difference? More fragments? I don't know. Huh. I don't know either, but we're going to Port Cecil now. <laughs> I, okay. What a mystery. I Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling pretty mysterious about this whole thing. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. I, I mean, 
those okay someone has done this to a lot of sharks <laughs> and they're big so it's someone with a lot of resources oh man we're just running into things to kill and yeah, the sea is alive with the sound of music <laughs> the sea is alive okay. let's get that oh interesting our, our contact for here is a rubbery man Hi. here is a rubbery man one of the squid faced bipedal things that infest the sadder hovels of fallen London it looks ill or infected the pearly glow of its coral throbs from a seam along its shoulder its arm pulses in its face fronds author of truth it pipes cheerfully it hands you a page of notes smeared with tangerine goo can rubbery men write the hand is elegant and disciplined times and dates precisely recorded Huh. So, I thought the rubbery men were uh, the snuffers, but I guess there are people who are infected with coral. Yeah, maybe. Because the uh, I keep bringing this up, but the uh, the honey lady was ta- was referring to the venturer as a rubbery man, and said, "Well, perhaps that's later." So I wonder if he's, um, I wonder if he's infected now and he's hiding it, or if he gets infected later, or. Oh yeah, we need to gather Cintillac. Let's do it. We got it. Nice. Two Cintillac. Two. So now, good. was that for... What is that for? Uh, we need that for... Our magician, right? Yes. We need since like it's something else for him, and I can't remember what Yeah, I didn't saying. write it down. I didn't, I didn't take notes. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Um. Okay. But is something I think we could just buy? Yeah, maybe. Should I fight this guy or avoid him? Uh, it's up to you. Uh, I kind of want to get back. I'm... Where are we going? We are going to... Oh, I want to go to the, the college. Oh, what's at the college for us? We got a couple things at the college. Oh, the solace fruit, you're saying? Yeah, we need the solace fruit and something else. Is the solace fruit all we need right now for the our officer? Oh, hey. Another one. I can sneak by it. The solace fruit, a, uh, a, I think we need a muter salt or something. Oh, yeah. And a uh, smooter smalt. <laughs> and uh, a live catch or a strange catch. Oh, strange catch. Well, fuck that albino moray. I don't know. I'm hoping. I just. You would have thought a shark would have given us something more yeah. than just a little bit of hole and a relic. Yeah, we we should probably pick more fights to try to get more things off of these guys. We haven't been to the college in a while. I think there's two things we can do there. But I don't remember what the other one is. Sink or swim. A pirate frigate. We can take that thing on like nobody's business. Ninety. All right. That's a dumb pirate frigate. He's we do just want to be kind of behind it, though. Yeah, I'm getting around behind him. Oof. Eight damage. Okay, it looked it looked terrible, but it wasn't so bad. Yeah. It was like a double shot. It looked Yeah, it looked like he fired everything. <laughs> he just loaded the washing machine into the cannon. Let that thing rip. I have my death spiral. <laughs> it's like it's like a death roll for a crocodile. Yeah. Except it's a ship. Yeah, except the firing cannons. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Gained a fuel, gained supplies. Totally worth it. Gained four supplies. Wow. Uh, okay. And we're back in Tiglar Bay. Oh, I th- yeah, the wonderful thing about Tiglar is Tiglar's <laughs> are wonderful things. Yeah, I forget. we haven't been here in a while. I... Yeah, it's been a long time. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. I really should be going. Oh yeah. Yeah. Have you uh, have you heard anything about the uh, the YouTube restrictions against songs? Oh yeah, yeah. We run into them often on this channel because we forget to turn off music. Oh, pick up a passenger. Oh yeah. Scholars and philosophers. Yes. Okay. Well, so we can. Oh, we just yeah, yeah, got a shady short. And she wants to go to the cor- to Gators Morn. Yeah, we did this once before. Yeah, we've done this before. Interesting. Oh, In- take plenty of candles into the wispways. Well, we don't have plenty of candles. Yeah, we got one candle. Huh. S- oh, this is how we get solace fruit. Damn it. Well, let's... Compile port We can also put a blimmick in the shore. I don't want to... Yeah, Compile so port. yeah, uh, port report. Well, we might as well spend our one candle since we're here. We can also see if they buy any. Nope. <laughs> they have no shops. Can we spend our one candle? Yeah. Oh, it just takes one to get it in. Okay. It says take plenty of candles. If you venture in, uh, whatever. So let's, maybe, let's just check out the first part. Yeah. Oop. Everyone dies. You can leave at any time, but if you get in far enough, you generally find something interesting. Mm. Oh, okay. So, uh, that was fun. See you later. All right. Peace. We'll read that another time. We don't have enough stuff. Yeah, we don't have enough 
Tier remains unchanged. So yeah, we'll have to come back here. It looks like the only way to get solace fruit is with these cans. I swear to God, they sell it somewhere. Solace fruit? Yeah. Uh, maybe at IRM or something. Uh, maybe. I'm not sure. Somewhere weird. Huh. Want to try this? Mm, or this? We've got eat, drink, and be merry. We got a lot of supplies. Yeah, each of these seem to do for supplies. This one's about uh, fruit and edible fungus. I would rather do the eat, drink, and be merry because that w- I'd rather find out what's going on than try to gather supplies because we got plenty. Lost ten terror. Not pretty good. Yeah, that's not bad. We needed to do that. Yeah. All right, I think we're done here. All Unfortunately, right. I didn't get to do any things I wanted to do. And well, and I think that's going to be it for this episode. We'll try to figure out what we're going to do. We're definitely going to go to the Corsair's Forest and drop yeah. off that shady sort. Yeah, probably just on the way back to London. Yeah. But we will catch you guys next time on Sunless Sea. We're also super close to Aistable. <laughs> we are. Not that I can think of anything to do over there, but... Uh, anyway. Right. Catch you guys next time. Later. Later.